Hello everyone, welcome to the Mathematics in my channel. In this video, we are going to solve this interesting integral. Integral from 0 to 1, x raised to the g. Here, g we know, Catherine's constant, len. <coughs> Hello everyone, welcome to the Mathematics in my channel. In this video, we are going to solve this interesting integral. Integral from 0 to 1, x to the g. Here, g we know, Catherine's constant natural log of 1 over x times natural log of natural log of 1 over x times natural log of 1 over x raised to the pi minus 1 okay how to begin well first uh, here we have natural log of 1 over x here also natural log of 1 over x here also natural log of 1 over x therefore i am going to take a substitution uh, like uh, u is equal to natural log of 1 over x okay uh, then uh, if we isolate the x uh, before it uh, we can rearrange this u is equal to here x to the minus 1 so minus natural log of x now if we isolate the x x we know x is equal to e to the minus u now uh, differentiate dx is equal to minus e to the minus u times du okay then uh, we can plug in here so we can write our integral is equal to now we know uh, limit uh, lower limit x approaches to zero so u approaches to uh, here infinity uh, upper limit we know zero and here uh, x we know e to the minus u so e to the minus u times g and natural log of 1 of x we know u so here u times natural log of natural log of 1 of x again u times natural log of 1 of x we know u so u to the pi minus 1 and uh, dx we know minus e to the minus u du okay then <clears throat> we can uh, change this uh, limit when we change the limit we know this minus sign get cancelled so we can write integral from 0 to infinity now here e to the minus u here e to the minus u times g so we can write e to the minus u times here g plus 1 times here u here u to the pi minus 1 minus 1 get cancelled so here we have u to the pi times natural log of u times d u okay then <clears throat> again i am going to take a substitution here we have uh, minus u times g plus 1 so i am going to take t is equal to u times g plus 1 now uh, if we differentiate we have dt is equal to g plus 1 times d u we know limit also 0 to infinity so we can write here integral from 0 to infinity now here we have e to the uh, u times g plus 1 we know t so e to the minus t u to the pi u we know t over g plus 1 so we can write uh, t to the pi over g plus 1 raised to the pi times natural log of u so we can write natural log of u we know t over g plus 1 times du we know again dt over g plus 1 okay then we know here g plus 1 raised to the pi constant here g plus 1 so we can write 1 over g plus 1 raised to the pi plus 1 outside of the integral sign and here 0 to infinity now here we have e to the minus t times here t to the pi so t to the pi and uh, here uh, according to property of natural log we can write natural log of t minus natural log of g plus 1 dt okay then uh, we can break our integral into two different integrals so we can write uh, here 1 over g plus 1 raised to the pi plus 1 uh, times integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus t times t to the pi times natural log of t 
minus uh, here we know natural log of g plus 1 constant so natural log of g plus 1 integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus t times uh, t to the pi d t okay then uh, we know now uh, this is uh, equal to gamma function okay we know the definition of gamma function so gamma of n is equal to uh, we know gamma of n is equal to integral from 0 to infinity x to the n minus 1 times e to the minus x dx now uh, if we differentiate with respect to n we know here gamma dash of n is equal to integral from 0 to infinity x to the n minus 1 e to the minus x natural log of x dx well uh, then here we have uh, same integral integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus t natural log of t t to the pi but here we have x to the n minus 1 so this pi uh, we can write uh, pi plus 1 minus 1 so we know uh, this is equal to uh, gamma dash of pi plus 1 and here we know this integral uh, gamma function the definition of gamma function and this is equal to gamma of pi plus 1 so we can write uh, now uh, this is equal to uh, here gamma dash of pi plus 1 so gamma dash of pi plus 1 over g plus 1 raised to the pi plus 1 mm, then uh, here we have oh, sorry here mm, here 1 over g plus 1 raised to the pi plus 1 and here gamma dash of pi plus 1 uh, minus we know this is equal to uh, gamma of pi plus 1 so we have natural log of g plus 1 times gamma of pi plus 1 okay uh, we talked about uh, the digamma function the properties of digamma function the first part uh, we proved uh, digamma of x is equal to gamma dash of x over gamma of x so we can write now uh, our integral is equal to 1 over g plus 1 raised to the pi plus 1 times now uh, gamma dash of pi plus 1 is equal to we know gamma of pi plus 1 times di gamma of pi plus 1 minus sorry now we have uh, here natural log of g plus 1 times gamma of pi plus 1 okay then uh, we can take gamma of pi plus 1 as a common factor and also at the same time we know gamma of pi plus 1 is equal to pi factorial over g plus 1 raised to the pi plus 1 times di gamma of pi plus 1 minus natural log of g plus 1 okay this is the answer if you like this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching